hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we will talk about uh, a web hosting which is completely dedicated for python web framework such as uh, flask django bottle web 2 pi so name any web framework which is written on python these hosting will support it so it's none other than python anywhere so today i will show you how you can host a django website on python anywhere now there are two advantages i see using of python anywhere first is that uh, most of the things that you're supposed to do for uh, python web hosting it's already done on python anywhere now for example if you want to host a website on vps then you will have to install python you will have also have to make necessary libraries to install for example uh, wfast cgi or any other uh, libraries that you need but uh, most of the things is already done here so you just have to upload your projects and uh, modify a little bit of uh, things and your website will be up now the second benefit is that uh, python anywhere is basically using cloud web hosting platforms such as uh, aws so in addition to the easy to use uh, feature you will also be able to get all the benefits of a cloud hosting another benefit is that you get a free ssl certificate and it completely auto renewal so you just have to set it for one time and uh, the ssl will be renewed every time when it's necessary now without any delay let's start so first of all what you have to do you'll have to go to the python anywhere website so just open a new tab and type uh, techieblogging.com python anywhere now i will put this link in the description if you want then uh, use that also link and you will directly come to this particular page now first of all you will have to create an account so basically you'll have to click on pricing and sign up now you will be able to see a lot of plans here so basically they have two category of plans first one is beginner which is completely free of course you will have the limited features to use but if you go with the paid account then definitely you will be able to use much more feature so for example you will be able to use a custom domain if you are going through any of this plan and uh, you will also be able to have a uh, unlimited internet uh, connectivity so for example if you want to host a website which has uh, api capability for example your uh, web app is basically contacting to a api server and fetching some data then you will need a paid plan because uh, free plans will not cover that so in this video i will show you a very basic demo that's why i am going to create a free account but you will always be able to upgrade your account to any of these uh, paid plans they also have a custom plans so if you feel that they, they also have a custom plan so basically it will give you the complete uh, control over whatever settings you want to modify for example web apps you can uh, if you want one web, web apps or two web apps you will have the control over it how many cpu seconds if you want that level of control also you will have how many web workers if you want uh, to use so many control you will have under custom plan so i always recommend to have the custom plan but uh, the minimum plan that you see hacker also you can go with now let's uh, create a free account so basically i have already created a account here it's very easy you'll have to give a username here email password and you will have to repeat the password then uh, click on this agree button and click on register so, so once you register you will get an email in your email address that you have provided here and you will have to verify your account once you do that you can click on login and uh, you will be asked username and password so let me provide uh, mine and then click on login so now you will have to go to my dashboard now under this dashboard you will have a section called cpu usage and file storage so basically free accounts will come with 512 mb 
if you have a paid plan then you will get 1 gb minimum and uh, if you have a custom plan then uh, according to your need you can increase or decrease that particular amount now the cpu usage is also same with free account it gives uh, the cpu usage for 100 seconds now so this cpu usage only be used when you run additional tasks which is required for the functioning of your website now first thing what we'll have to do is that uh, we'll have to go to web so basically we'll have to create a web app and uh, python anywhere with free account it will give you one web app and uh, for that click add a new web app and uh, your web app will be live at uh, this particular url it's basically consists of your username and dot python anywhere dot com now go down and click on uh, next click on manual configuration because we will do the manual configuration and uh, which will include the virtual environment so click on manual configuration select a python version let's select a python 3.9 which is the latest and then click on next now our web app is set and uh, this is your uh, web app link now if you will open it in a new tab you will basically show a hello world so this is the default website that uh, python anywhere provides you but we'll have to do a lot of uh, setups because we want to host our web app on python anywhere now before that let's go to console and uh, console is basically will provide us a command line interface so just click on uh, bash and uh, it will take you to a command line so basically what we will do we will create a virtual environment here and uh, inside that virtual environment we will be uploading all our files now in order to create a virtual environment just uh, type mk virtual env and then the virtual environment name so let me give it uh, vnb so hit enter and it will start creating a virtual environment it has been created now you can see here the vnb is written within bracket it means the virtual environment has already been created now what we will have to do again click on this three bar button and uh, go to files let me just open in in new tab and uh, here it is and uh, here i will be able to see a folder called virtual envs just click on that and uh, again vnb that is the virtual environment name and here let's upload all the files which is related to our project so i have already created a demo django website so basically what i recommend is that you test it your uh, web app in localhost and then upload it so i have zipped all the folders and uh, i am just going to upload it here it is already uploaded now we'll have to unzip it but uh, for that let's go back to our bash console here and uh, here let's uh, go to cd dot uh, virtual environment and then again cd v env the virtual environment name now if you will type pwd then you will be able to see the complete path of your virtual environment to execute command ls hyphen l to see whether demo django.zip file is there or not yes it is there now let's unzip it by executing the command unzip demo django.zip so what it will do it will extract all the files here now if we will execute ls hyphen l again then we will be able to see a folder called demo django and uh, inside this uh, demo django folder we have all the files which is needed for our django website now go inside this folder demo django and here you will be able to see a file called requirement.txt so basically it has all the libraries that is needed for my website to work so basically here only one uh, library is there that is uh, django if you have uh, more libraries that is needed then you should mention it in this file now in order to install all the libraries that is written here i'll have to execute a command pip install hyphen r 
requirements.txt hit enter and it will basically install the libraries so it may take some uh, time because it will download the libraries and then install it now meanwhile while it is getting installed let's go back to another tab so here we have the files but uh, now we'll have to go to web so under web we'll have to modify many things so that our website get works now what we'll have to do here is that first thing first go it down and you'll have to provide the path of your source code now just click on now click on it and we'll have to provide the path here let me go back and uh, copy that path once again just a little bit uh, up i believe and uh, I have executed a PWD command here it is and let me just uh, copy it and uh, paste it here now VNB is a virtual environment but my actual files are there in demo Django folder so I will just uh, type it let me verify the path yes it is fine and uh, click on this tick button if you have typed anything wrong then definitely it will give error but in my case it is fine now what i'll have to do is that i'll have to modify this wsgi file so just right click on it and click on it on a new tab so it will looks like this a lot of things are so we'll have to remove many things now we'll have to find a section called uh, django so here it is and uh, now we'll have to remove everything above the Django section and uh, below also from the Django section. Now what we'll have to do here is that uh, let's uh, remove the hash whichever is required. So what I will do is that uh, I will remove hash from this fourth and fifth line that is import OS and import sys and uh, next thing is that uh, I'll have to remove from the path and uh, basically all the lines from the path. So what I will have to do is that I will press control and forward slash button and it will remove all the hash. So make a note of uh, this. You will have to remove the hash only from the line which is necessary. I think uh, this is the one. Now what we'll have to do is that you'll have to modify the path here. So path is basically where your Django files exist. So in my case it is slash home my username dot virtual env venv and then slash demo Django. Now if you are getting confused then make sure you provide the path where your manage.py file is there so in my case manage.py file exists inside this now the second modification you have to do is that you'll have to change the my site dot settings and here you will have to provide your folder name where your settings.py file is there so you don't have to provide the entire path you just have to provide the folder name where settings.py file exists i think that's all for this particular page you just have to press ctrl s to save it otherwise you can also click here to save this now let's go back to the web app setup so we just completed the configuration of wsga file now virtual env will have to provide the path of the virtual environment so in our case it is basically this path but i'll have to remove the django demo django folder so the path is basically slash home my username dot virtual envies and the virtual environment name go down and here we will be able to see a few of the log files if something goes wrong then you can check uh, these files to see what went wrong under static file if you want to add uh, the folder path where all your static files are there such as uh, css javascript so you just have to type here slash static slash click the tick button and here you will have to provide the entire path for example if my static files are there under demo django then i will have to provide the whole path and the static folder name
and click on tick mark so similarly if you have any other path you will you should uh, place it here so i don't have static uh, path here that's why i'm just uh, deleting this and uh, next section is the security section here uh, you will be able to install https so you just have to click on this disabled button so basically it will enable the force https you don't have to do any additional steps for installing https because everything happens in backend and now go down that's all i think there is no other option so final step would be to reload this so just click on this reload button so the configuration will be reloaded and then we will see if uh, the website is working or not so there was no error so let me just uh, right click on this path and open it in a new tab and uh, i can see it's already running home page of django app so this is very basic django app that i have uh, created just for the demonstration purpose but if you have a full fledged uh, website which is written on django then you should be able to see many options here now you can uh, see at the top ssl is already installed here you don't have to do any additional stuffs here now that's all for this video so hope you got all the process to create a django app in python anywhere that's all for this video let me know if you have any question put it in a comment section and i will try to answer it don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately.